Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor. Today I'm going to talk about shoplifting or organized retail theft. Now under Arizona Revised Statute 13-1805, shoplifting occurs when a person enters a shop and knowingly obtains good with the or goods with the intent to deprive or not pay for those goods. Now organized retail theft uh, is on a much bigger scale and it's it's a much bigger scheme than shoplifting, but many times they overcharge shoplifting as organized retail theft. Now the punishment, um, if there is no prior convictions and it's under $1,000, it's a misdemeanor. That's probation up to six months in jail, a $2,500 fine with an 84% surcharge on top. If the theft is of one to $2,000 that was shoplifted, then it's a class six felony with probation up to two years in prison. If it's 2,000 or more, it's probation with up to two and a half years in prison. Now, um, if a specialized container was used to conceal the items, uh, then, and only then, or if you have two prior shoplifting convictions or burglary or robbery, they can charge you with a class four, and that's the most serious of these felonies. That is probation up to 3.75 years in prison. Now probation means the judge can say, I'm gonna put you on probation and give you certain conditions. Remain law abiding, um, report to your probation officer, don't use drugs. But the judge can also say, I'm gonna give you jail as a condition of probation, anywhere from zero days in jail up to a year in jail. So it's important you have a defense attorney who knows what they're doing so you don't get any jail. Possible defenses are lack of intent. That means I'm walking out of the store, my hands were full, I'm checking out and I forgot I was holding one of the items. Obviously we look to see whether you paid for other items before you left. Lack of knowledge. This occurs when, oh wow, this is a really good deal and somebody else switched out the price tag and someone else was gonna go up to the register but they got scared and left the store and here you are looking at a brand new TV for $49 and you didn't realize it. Um, Sometimes you'll see uh, where people switch items inside of a box. So you're walking out with a box that's supposed to hold one type of low price TV, but instead it's got the highest plasma screen in there. And somebody else switched it without your knowledge. Common defenses are Miranda rights violations, coerced statements by the police, denial of right to counsel if you ask for a lawyer and they wouldn't give you one. We will use video analysis. Almost every store has videotape and we'll check all of the uh, videos to show whether uh, you in fact were somebody who was just rushing along or whether it was something else. Now sloppy police reports, that's one of the biggest defenses we use. We see it all the time. So if you or a loved one was charged with shoplifting or organized retail theft, give us a call, set a free initial 30 minute consultation in our office. It doesn't cost you anything. Come on in and meet with us. We have multiple certified criminal law specialists and we'd love to help you out on this. So I look forward to hearing from you soon.